Well, good morning to you. I'm Maxine. I buy old records. Me and Jesse Lee. We're going out today. Out to East Texas. Do a little looking around. I've got no leads out that way. But I just I haven't been out that way in a, a bit. We've been uh, sidetracked. Packing far up. Come and move. I filled about a hundred tubs of uh, those big plastic tubs you get at Home Depot or wherever it is you shop. Full of our stuff. Yeah, so we're going to fill up a container, send that on down the way by the time we move. And uh, when we get get to where we're going, we'll probably set on apple crates or something until our stuff arrives. But anyway, we're out looking for records today because that's how it should be. Well, all right, we've entered a decidedly rural area where I hear banjos. I get kind of nervous. No, I like this kind of area. So uh, there's a place I'm looking for. I'm not even sure if I'm on the right road, but sometimes they have records. Oh, well, that's weird. Kiss fan, I suppose. Well, okay, we're in Tyler, Texas. Like I say, I've got no leads. I'm just gonna go hit some of the antique malls, junk shops, and maybe I'll see an estate sale or something. If I find stuff, great. If not, eh, I'm out looking. Well, it's going to this place. Been here a few times. I think I found a record or two here before. Not really sure. Hmm. 45s. Take it over here and take a look. See what we come up with. So they want $70 for all. Old surfers. Yeah, some 60s things. Like I say, I only need one great one to buy a whole stack. Oh, we got some 50s in here too. Nappy Brown. Nothing for me. I noticed a few 78s down here. Let's check them out. So, Bean. Okay, these have different ones in there. Frankie Lane. Actually, that Frankie Lane was kind of scarce. It's his first record, but. Ain't nobody want it. Squaresville, man. Okay, ooh, we got a little bit of rock and roll coming up. Party Doll. And Buddy Knox. There's Rockabilly. By Guy Mitchell. There's Teddy Bear. Loving You by Elvis. Hmm. Well, that's not bad. Wow, Susie Q. Not, oh my. Okay, I found some records. Okay, I'll get that. It's got two good 78s in there at least. Let's see what else. We've got one more chance at immorality. Or immortality, I guess. That one's broken, the Bing Crosby. And, okay. Well, cool. Got me two or three decent 78s there. Jesse's in the car playing Sniper Elite 4. He's been bitten by the bug, which is a fun game. I'll tell you that. I like it. So I'll put these in there place that they needs to go all right i'm off to a flying start well okay somebody there just in the parking lot saw my sign on my car took a picture maybe i'll get a call
Wow, this is cool. 45s. Jesse picked these out. I hope you found some good ones here. Ooh. A good sleeve. I had been keeping company sleeves like this modern and RPM for years, just getting boxes of common ones, uncommon ones, you know, 50s and 60s. And I just sold all my sleeves. Man, it's amazing how much you can get for a couple of boxes of sleeves. Wow. Puritan, but it's broken. There's George Jones on uh, 78. I mean, I've already got it. I'd think about it, but I, I, I've already got it. And they're really hard to sell, and I need to be selling records instead of, you know, because I've got to move what I don't sell down south. I think I'll pass on these two. I decide I really need this. Nah, it's got some pretty rough scratches on it. And the sleeve's not in the best shape. I'm sure old Carl Perkins or somebody isn't hiding in here. Ooh, the price is. Good presentation though. I'll give it a three. good records instead. All right, so no luck there, but let's go on. I'm sure there are more places. They've got a half price bookstore, so we'll check that out. Well, might as well hit the half price since we're here. Might be lucky. You know something? Looks like they've got stuff. Lewis. Looks like they put some high prices on some too. Okay, start again. Smiley Lewis. Discounts. Hank Williams. You know, if these are a quarter each, I'd buy a bunch. But they're not. Maybe that keeps other people from buying good records. These RCA DJ Customs always turn them over. Sometimes it's Elvis on the flip side. And then they're worth some money. Even now. Porter Hughes at the Hammond, Oregon. Eek. I will look through them all. Uh terrible shape though. I think it's straight country record. So is that. Rockabilly Fever by Carl Perkins. But they want ten dollars for it? Really? It's kinda it's kinda whack. Thirty nine ninety nine. Oh, 99. This one actually has Buddy Holly on it, but it's in bad shape, and it's a terrible record anyway. It really is. He just plays a little bit of guitar on it. Pretty label. Costa Rica. Sin Palabras. Eh, no. Country. I was hoping that was one of their sole issues. I saw a good looking record there. Turned out to be square dance. There's 
Oh, who the rock? And nothing. Well, all right, we're on our way to this uh, hidden warehouse where I found things good in the past. Tried to go there this morning, couldn't find them. So uh, I did the smart thing, drive around aimlessly when did other things, then decided to Google it, which makes sense up in this mind of mine somehow. But we're gonna go out there. We just had a little lunch, a little Brahms hamburger. That was good, not bad. Yeah, let's go over there and see what we can find. Maybe we'll go about Glade Water too and look around there. We'll just see what time permits. Well, good, good, good. I found the place, let's go in. Jesse has opted to stay inside and look at his phone. And he's playing his game as well. And I encourage that. Keeps him from stealing hubcaps and doing all sorts of devilry. Or is it deviltry? I don't know. Stuff this one full. I almost hope there's nothing I need because it'll probably be broken. Square Dance record. Even that, being on a good label. He's on Peerless. Orchestra. I like the ones that. The ones that with uh, guitars. Near you, Francis Craig. That's the most common 78. That's the one I said that time a guy had 10,000 copies of and he wanted to sell them all to me at one time. I politely declined. More square dance. Okay, nothing so far. And nothing so far. Let's go look at more. Forgot I had my phone. So far these have all been no hopers. Duck calling. I do a really good duck call. Hey, ducky, ducky, ducky. That's my duck call. Yeah, that's a dad joke. Doc sausage. Doc sausage. What a name to be stuck with. It might be pretty good though. Gene Autry. Let's get plugged in here. Bring it up just a little. Jerry Lee Lewis. You know, depending on the price, that's good enough shape to keep. Just seeing that here gives me hope there might be something else. Unless somebody came through and picked the rarities out, which is a possibility. Well, that's quite all right. Well, a bunch of those hit records sound alikes from the 60s. Some were actually recorded at the Sam Phillips studio in uh, Nashville and maybe even the Sam Phillips studio on Madison in Memphis. In fact, I'm pretty sure they were some of them. Songs of Texas a and I guess it's we lose to University of Texas. We lose to the University of Texas. La 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 la. Well, I'm happy to have looked, but I didn't get anything. The Jerry Lee I got out into some better light and it had a bad spot on it. Bad spot on Jerry Lee. Well, hell, he's 86 years old. He ought to have him a bad spot or two. Just got in the Country Music Hall of Fame. Congrats, killer. Well, all right, let's go to Glade Water. Haven't been in there in, oh, I don't know, more than half a year anyway. See if there's anything in the shops. Like I've said before, that's where Elvis got stranded for a few weeks back in 55. They got quite a following as a result. They played high schools, things like that, hung around. Kind of neat. Okay, so we've made it into 
delayed water, we're going to start hitting stores as they come. So these are all 70s on up. That's what, that's what this is, but not in a good 70s way. They were thinking it was really great stuff, and I was getting excited. And no. no, it's all too new for me. Well, nothing there. Let's check the rest out. Picturesque little town. I had a great great grandfather, I think it was called it Picture Skew. That's how he talked. He was weird, though. How are you? Doing all right. Was going to see if you have any old records. No, no. All right. Put records in here. That's all right. You have a great one. You too, honey. Mm -hmm. All right. This shop and one more. I think that's it for the town. I've seen this box. I recognize the first record in it. I think I've seen it. Bad warp. Okay. Howdy. I know they had records in the back here. Now I'm pretty sure I've seen every one of these records several times over. Yes, same exact box I've seen before. Well, the 10th copy of Bill Dog It's Honky Tonk I've seen, and there's the today's second copy of Raunchy I've seen. Wish I'd written both of those, I'd be rich. I think I've seen these as well. How'd you do? Uh, how are you? Oh, it's a good day today. Yeah. Hmm. I started going through that knowing it's the same records I've shown y'all twice before. So I just wanted to point that out that I've shown you that twice before. Nothing else new. They ought to really shake up their inventory. Well, look at a whale over there. $12. Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I'm consistent for the last few shops. Nothing. And that's, that's disturbing. Hmm. Let's keep looking. All right. Mineola, Texas. Billy Grammer's record. I see that everywhere. Incidentally, the last song that Buddy Holly ever sang. Where he died. He did got to travel on. And then he got on that damn airplane. Well, I got one more good place to check. Historically, I found some nice things here as they're open. I think they are. We're in Mineola. Great records were reported here at the Trail 80 Courts. And, uh, by Jack Rhodes. Oh my gosh. Look at this. $15. That's pretty cool. 45 are we looking at here? Well, that's cool. That's in the back of my Honda where it needs to be. You know, $15. That's just a nice thing for I'm going to hang on the wall of my studio when we get set up in uh, South America. It'll look pretty and it'll add a, an ambulance. An uh, ambulance? Yes, yes. Ambience. And real class to the place. Because that's something I'm usually sorely lacking in. Oh, well. Let's go on down the road. I don't know if there's anything else for the time we have, but let's just see. All right. Having to do a patented U-turn here. 
I pass by this place, realize it's a brand new antique store that's I've never seen it before. So let's go over here and check it out. Ooh, nothing yet, but who knows or, or dares to dream.